y'all what's up welcome back to my channel and today i pray you guys woke up feeling really good i hope y'all had a wonderful day and i just want to um give you a few words first and then i'll pray and then we'll do the message so i wanted to tell you guys to trust the process and i know we're all in different seasons right now but just trust the process because everything is going to work out for your good it really is and we may be in some uncomfortable seasons we may be in some seasons where our faith is being stretched and our belief is being stretched a little bit and we're just being pulled out of our comfort zone into new territory where we have to trust in god a little bit more but i just want you guys to trust the process and slow down you know because I think we get so caught up with the world because the world is moving and changing so quickly. And we tend to kind of like look at ourselves and say, well, things outside of us has changed so much, maybe in our friend's life, maybe in our family's life. And we look at ourselves and we don't see that much change, but it's okay. Just take your time because God's timing is everything. And God don't come when you want him to come, but he's always right on time. So just trust the process, take your deep breaths and just relax and just really enjoy the view of where you are. You know, imagine where you are, like, you know, you taking this long drive and you seeing new things as like a scenery place and just look at it. And I know some of y'all like, girl, look, I'm in some places where I don't want to see nothing, but trust me. If you're in a season right now where it's like you're being crushed and you're being crushed, don't worry about it. God has something planned for you. And sometimes it takes that pain and that pressure to make that diamond. So don't, don't just beat yourself up. Allow yourself to feel the emotions of your season, but don't get stuck there. Always reach out. For, from what's in, in front of you because where you are has purpose and is going to strengthen you and is going to be a testimony for your next season and it'll save someone else's life when you share it so don't feel like don't feel defeated god is with you just continue to hold on continue to let him prune you continue to let him shape you continue to let him just build in you what you need for the next season. And I just felt like it was necessary, but um, just trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. So let me pray and I'll get to the message. I love you so much, God, and I just thank you, God. I just ask that you come into our space, Jesus, and you just give us the give us the words that we need, God, to keep us going, God. Reveal to us our your will for our lives god so we can continue to stay on the path that you have created for us god i know right now it may be a little difficult for us god but just remind us that you are with us god send us something show us that you are there god because i know we're going through a tough time but and you know we may not be seeing clearly we may be not hearing you as loud as we was god but just remind us that you are here god and continue to strengthen us and we will continue to follow you god i love you so much amen and the scripture is coming from john chapter one and it's verse four in him was life and the life was the light of men in jesus was life and the life in jesus was the light of men and this is simply saying that Jesus is our light in our darkness. So wherever you are right now, be guided by the light of God. Be guided by the light of Jesus. Be guided by the truth of the Holy Spirit. Be guided by that because this life is going to continue. But you have to make sure you are rooted into something that is very stable and something that is very sure and true. And that is God. Because for me, that's where I find my, that's, that's my provider. 
That's my refuge. That's my best friend. Like that is my peace. And I'm not saying this because I'm like this per perfect person and I have walked this walk with God and me and God been doing it since way back when. I am saying this from a place of a person that didn't believe, like I once didn't believe. I used to go to school. I mean, I used to go to church off and on throughout my life, but it came a point in my life where I just stopped believing. And for me, that was a pivotal moment for me. Because me not believing really allowed me to strip everything that I thought God to be out of my life so he could give me a true revelation of who he was. So Jesus for me is so important because I didn't go looking for him. I wasn't out looking for Jesus. Like I really was trying to figure out why I was so mad, trying to figure out why I was so angry, trying to figure out why I was so short patient, why I was so frustrated. And God met me there. That little seeking of why I felt a certain way allowed God to come in and show me. And since then, it's been me and God. And this hasn't been like this journey. Like I tell y'all, you know, the wicked of the world, even your old ways, your fleshly ways is not going to allow you to just walk with God freely. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a day-to-day a -day fight. You know, you're going to have to fight off feelings of fear and you're going to have to fight off um the unworthy feelings. You're going to have to fight off the feeling of, you know, loneliness. You're going to have to fight all of that to walk with God or whatever else it is that you may be dealing with. But for me, God is my life. And this, I'm telling y'all, like I said, it wasn't something that I went out trying to be this Bible thumper and all of that. I didn't even want to have anything to do with God. My plan was never to be in reading the Bible, let alone getting on YouTube and sharing my story and opening up like things that are so private to me to the world but i'm here and it's because of god so that's why it's so important and i know religion like this religion put god in a box but he is so vast like he is so vast if you look around at the different trees and flowers and animals and the different colors of people like god is an artist and he he does everything with grace and with love. He's very intricate on how he designed everything. He's very specific and he's very purposeful. So in him, the creator of us, for me, is the only place I can find light. That's the only light that I choose to follow because it's true and it's pure. So I say all this to say that. I'm not on YouTube trying to get anybody to believe in God and to believe that he's real. All I'm saying is that for me, he was my life. He was my life. It didn't start out like that, but this is where I am now. So I truly believe like if you're in a dark place and you believe that you tried everything, like you did it your way a million times, you did it your friend way, your sister way, your brother way, your uncle way, your mama way, your daddy way, like you didn't try it at all, and you still can't find a way out, you still can't find a peace, just try God, just try him, I'm not saying, it's not going to be an easy walk, y'all, I'm telling you, I felt like I was kicking and screaming like a two-year-old walking with God, because I have, I've gave so much of me to external things that didn't know my value so i had to learn and still learning to love god with my heart all my heart and my soul and my mind so when i'm talking to y'all about this stuff like i'm talking from a place of complete understanding like i'm right there with y'all this stuff is tough you know it's a tough walk it's a tough to stay on this path with god because you're usually by yourself with it then he kind of sets you apart so you alone and you dealing with that and you learning to now not depend on the outside things, but to depend fully on God. And then God is invisible and then you have to be intentional and, and it's like a battle. Like, am I hearing God or am I tripping? I get it all, y'all. But just like in John chapter one, verse four, in him was life and the life was the light of men. And this is just truly true for me. So I love y'all so much. And I pray this message touch someone. Um, subscribe, y'all. You know, subscribe if you really enjoy what you're hearing. 
and you would love to hear more subscribe to my channel you know hit the bell uh what else leave comments ask me some questions like if i've experienced it or if i have some information on it i would definitely share it so you can feel free to comment and like the videos if you really enjoyed it so I love y'all so much and I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah.